what is going on everybody if you have not guessed already today's video is going to be on daniel larson so we have some new daniel larson lore daniel larson is meeting with teenagers um you know he said that he was going to be doing a fan meetup but he ended up just meeting with like this random group of teenagers um, which was pretty cool and then he's also still talking about bob constantly um you know talking about how bob wants nothing to do with him when we already know that meet me today on pearl street mall in boulder colorado ten dollar photos so when I heard this, I expected it to be a big deal. I expected there to be thousands of fans, you know, outside of this mall looking for Daniel. But it turns out that nobody really showed up except for like a couple teenagers. So he chills with the teenagers and, you know, has a good time uh, dancing around like in the first clip, as well as just kind of sitting there and eating with them like this group of teenage boys and teenage girls as they sort of like tell him that they're his security guard and, you know, just basically like meme around with him. What's up? Bob, if you don't get me a motel room tonight, these fans are gonna take me to Jamaica. Daniel is off his rocker. I'm seriously concerned about his mental health. The things that he says just don't make sense at this point. I don't know if it's drugs or if he's just, you know, kind of like going through it schizophrenic wise. But this guy is like saying things. And in the next clip, he kind of says like just dumb things that I don't know. I haven't been watching Daniel for too long, but they just don't make sense at all. And it just doesn't sound right in the conversation. Also, why is Daniel giving people his location if he's always so paranoid about, you know, who's around and who's watching him? Why does he constantly give out his location and dox himself? It just doesn't make sense to me. He wants people to leave him alone, but at the same time, he invites this kind of harassment. This man is a security guard and he's got some big tits. Yeah, no, he, some he doesn't have the tits like Drain Johnson. Who the fuck is Drain Johnson? Also, why are you hanging out with a bunch of teenagers if you're worried about the fucking FBI thinking that you're a pedophile, dude? Stop hanging out with underage people. These, the best case scenario, these people are 18. The worst case scenario, they're like 16, dude. You shouldn't be hanging around people that, you know, you kind of got to guess if they're underage, man. Stop. Stop meeting with random people. Very, very popular in Colorado. I didn't know you lived in Colorado until like last year. Yeah, I, I live in Colorado, yeah. Like Denver area. Are you like mostly? I love how Daniel decides to record this moment where somebody's like, you know, gassing him up or whatever. They're obviously trolling, but in his eyes, he sees this as like, oh, they're, they're telling me that I'm famous, you know? And it's like, nah, they're not, not really, you know, they're just kind of kind of egging him on and you can see you know he's looking at the camera like yeah this guy knows who i am and he thinks i'm a big deal and you know he didn't know it was from colorado and all this bullshit it don't matter man this whole meeting just is is cringe everybody will respect you right. okay what what you laughing at don't be laughing right, what, what else should we talk about mm. oh what are you doing for new year's I want to go to downtown Denver for their mm -hmm. New Year's celebration. Don't they do like fireworks and stuff? They do. Where do they do that? Like what? Climate Park? No, they do it in like downtown. Um, down, like down, I guess, near the Capitol building. Are you going to a New Year's party? No. no. I was gonna Not probably gonna lie, party like by Daniel myself. To a New Year's party. That'd be lit as hell. Would you? Would you pull up to a party? To a New Year's party? It depends. Dude, I'm so down. I'm so down to invite you. We promise no one will spam a call on you. We won't get the local out because we don't want random people showing up to a specific person's house. Take the bite of a burger. Tell me if you like it. So these kids basically just go around and they kind of fuck with Daniel. They don't do anything too bad, which I guess I I got to I got to admire because you know they had the chance to like really troll him pretty hard, and it seems like they kind of just took him out to eat. But it also might be sort of like a grand scheme kind of thing because they keep trying to invite him to this party, which is a bad idea. He shouldn't go to a party. It's stupid. If he ends up going, he's gonna get harassed, and he, you know he's gonna get you know like just fucking cops called on him and it's gonna be all bad 
but you know could go down to the daniel larson wiki as a, as a good point in, in the history of daniel larson so you never know it could be pretty pretty good news pretty good clicks pretty good views so we'll see what happens also daniel keeps bringing up bob proctor again he has a, a video and then also a string of text and he wants uh, bob to pay for his hotel room so he's still trying to get money after bob even though the guy told him to never contact him again so tonight bob has decided that he's going to permanently leave my life because of my publicity I make 200 to 300 dollars a day off of my social media platforms. Daniel obviously doesn't make that much money. I don't think he'd be living on the streets if he made 200 to 300 dollars a day. I mean, I hope he doesn't make that amount of money because then I can't even imagine what he's spending it on. But it's probably not good choices, good financial choices. Um, you know, he should probably just find a place to stay and chill. But that's the thing about low cows. It's like he continues this delusion that he's famous and, you know, he's got a bunch of fans. So he's got to, you know, he's got to be out there in Colorado. Also, he's on probation, so he can't even leave the place. Um, I don't know, kind of might be a good time for him to find like a place to stay there if he wants to stay there permanently. Um, but he's not going to do that. Uh, anyway, he had some texts to Bob that he posted last night, but he deleted, so I couldn't find them. But, you know, earlier in the clip, you heard him say that he wanted Bob to give him $100 for a hotel room or the teenagers were going to take him to Jamaica. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that's a reference to. It doesn't make any sense, but that's what he says. That's basically where this Daniel Larson update ends. Uh, you know, he's going around, hanging out with teenagers, still constantly talking about Bob, sending him uh, harassing text messages. So we'll see what's in store for uh, Daniel in the next coming up days. Usually he's pretty crazy on the weekends, so we might get a new freak out, but we'll see. Um, you know, I'll be on it. I'll make sure to be recording his live stream when it does happen. Uh, and you all will be the first to know. So, uh, you know, see you in the next video. Uh, like and subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. I'll see you tomorrow.